Hey guys, what is going on? So today I have um, a tag video. I was tagged by uh, the Black Moor Rebellion, who actually just made a video about ironically. So, <laughs> but um, the tag is my life in metal and rock, and he got it from the Bunny Bar by Jackson. I believe she got it from someone else. So there are a total of 14 questions. So I'll answer them the best I can. And also in the background, we're listening to some Cryptopsy and that's a while because my family is blasting these music right now, and I don't think that would match up very well with the music I'm going to be talking about in this video. Um, but this is a great fucking album, though. I mean, if you're into death metal, I'm sure you know this, and I'm going to dig into this album at least since I got it, so, yeah. Alright, but anyways, um, all that aside, let's get started. Alright, so, the first question is, first steps, the, band, the first bands you remember hearing as a kid. Um... Um, my, my parents' musical taste is really, like, diverse and shit, but I remember being a little kid hearing a lot of, like, alternative rock and shit like that from, like, the early 2000s and late 90s, especially, like, hearing all that stuff, like, from my mom. So, like, stuff like Smashing Pumpkins and Radiohead and stuff like that, and, like, White Stripes and, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, stuff like that reminds me of my childhood a lot. I remember hearing that a lot as a little kid, so, yeah, it brings back a lot of memories. <laughs> the second question I don't really have an answer to. And his teenage crush, which band members did you have a crush on? I can't think of any rules and bands that I've ever, like, had anything for, so yeah. Um, the third question is, bad choices slash good outcome, a band you listened to and ended up enjoying even though you wanted to hate it? Um, this isn't necessarily a band that I wanted to hate, but this is a band that I did think I would like because they're from a genre I don't really care for, um, of metal. And that's Devourment. I'm not crazy into Slam, I really don't care for it that much, a lot of it is kind of repetitive to me. But I think that Devourment are fucking awesome and Butcher of the Week is an amazing album. Um, it's not necessarily that I wanted to hate them, I just didn't think I would like them. I remember hearing that and thinking it was actually really good. But like that's just a subgenre that I'm not crazy about. Um, but I really like Devourment actually quite a bit. Fourth question I can't answer again, because it's first date. What band was playing when you were on first date? I'm as happened to yet, so <laughs> Yeah, uh, fifth band, let's go, yeah, fifth question is really good, um, Home Cut First, what bands remind you of being with your family? Uh, one band that reminds me of my family a lot is U2, because that's, like, my dad's favorite band, he plays their shit a lot, and, like, the stuff I mentioned on the first question, um, bands that my music, ah, bands that my parents play a lot when I was a little kid, and that they still play a lot, so, like, stuff like that reminds me of my family a lot, so, yeah. Uh, sixth question is first heartbreak what bands really upset you that are you are no longer a fan of I can't think of any bands that's necessarily like I'm not a fan of them anymore but I can think of bands that like they released albums that like pissed me off that like I hated um but uh, there's never really been a band where it's like they've made an album that was like so bad I was like fuck this I'm not gonna listen to them anymore but I can think of a good example it's one of the first bands if not I'm pretty sure the first band I ever got into um, AFI was really into their fucking hardcore punk shit from the late 90s, and then I wasn't crazy about their, like, emo stuff and, like, the, 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 ah, the early 2000s, oh my god, I can't talk today, but, um, I remember when the Burial album, yeah, the Burials album came out when I was in, like, the 6th grade, and I was really getting into that band at, this, at the time, and then I, I bought that album when it came out, I was all hyped for it, and I don't know why I had such high expectations for it, but that album is utter shit, and that's hands down the worst album that they've done. So, yeah, that's an album that comes to mind when I think of an album that kind of let me down. But that's about it. I can't think of anything where it's, like, so bad that I stopped listening to them. So I still kept listening to AFI after that album. But, yeah. Number seven is Leaving a Home. What bands were the first you listened to when you left home? I, like I said, I haven't left home yet, so... Uh, that's another question I can't answer. It's, it's kind of funny. Um, I don't know how, like, a lot of these questions. It's just, like, points in my life I ever reached yet. Number eight is good times. What bands do you listen to the most and why? This is a really good question. Um, I listen to Death. I've been listening to Death nonstop for like about a year now since I've gotten into them. And they're one of my all-time favorite bands. Um, so I listen to nonstop. Um, Mayhem is a band I listen to nonstop since I've gotten into them. No Effects is a band that I always listen to nonstop since I've gotten into them a couple years ago. But, um, yeah, and of course Black Flag, too, is another one. But those are some bands that I listen to the most. I can't think of why. It's, not just, it's just that, like, I never really get sick of them, and they're just some of my favorite bands, so, yeah. 
Number nine is learn a new language. What is your favorite non-native language bands? Um, first one that comes to mind, this is kind of a generic answer because I'm sure this is what a lot of people would say, at least who are into black metal, but Dark Throne. Not all their stuff was in Norwegian language, but a lot of their best material, in my opinion, was like a lot of the songs on Transylvanian Hunger and Panzerfaust. And um, there's nothing, um, everything's in English, I'm pretty sure, on um, A Blaze in the Northern Sky. And I'm pretty sure under a Feral Moon. I don't own that album, so I'm not 100% sure. But that's a good example. Um, another band, though, is um, Druharia. Um, I, just miss I said their name is so white, which is hilarious. Um, but their, uh, their stuff is really good. I really like their album, Matandoeros, is really good. Um, and their uh, Mexican death metal slash grindcore band are, are really fucking good. So Those are some. Um, Non-native language bands, like basically bands that don't speak English, for some reason, it depends on like, the language, but if it's in a super harsh language, like Norwegian for example, it just sounds really cool. So, yeah. So, yeah, number 10 is Can't Seek Your Headphones Off. What bands have got you hooked? Um, what we're listening to right now, I've been hooked on for like almost a month now. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that. I've been hooked on Dark Throne. I, I, I keep mentioning black metal bands. But I fucking love Black Metal. So Dark Throne, I've been hooked on a lot lately. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Dissection lately. They're becoming one of my favorite Black Metal bands. Um, Forgotten Tomb as well. I've been hooked on them for a while. I've been listening to a lot of DSPN lately, actually. Um, I've also been listening to a lot of uh, Disaster and Leviathan too. So those are some bands I've been hooked on lately. So, yeah. All right, almost done. And, um, I was expecting this video to be a lot longer, but there's some of these questions that like I couldn't really ask, have an answer to. So. <laughs> uh, number twelve is looking to the future. What bands are you looking forward to new material from or seeing live? One band that I'm really looking, I mean, they just released a new album like not super long ago, but I've been looking forward to seeing how their career turns out later on. Um, Power Trip. Um, I did first discovered them when I saw them open for Lamb of God back in like 2016, and. Uh, they were really good live, and um, I don't have much to say. Like, I'm just curious to know how they'll turn out and how long they'll last. Because um, they're a really great crossover band. Um, and I almost got to see them live. But, um, cause, like, again, because I was going to see Obituary and Exodus, but I ended up not being able to get tickets, so that sucks. But uh, I eventually want to see them live again because they're really good. Um, but yeah, um, and the bands that I just want to see live really bad, I want to see Mayhem live at one point, and they're playing in my area in December, so hopefully I might be able to go, um, I think of more, uh, I really want to see, um, fucking, oh my god, it escapes me, um, Obituary, because I don't, I almost got to see them, but then, I really want to see Slayer at one point, because I fucking love Slayer, and, um, they're a really good live band from what I've heard, so I really want to see them at one point. So those are some. Alright, number 13, if only, what bands would you like to see reunite? Um, first and foremost, Black Flag, specifically the 1984 lineup from um, the Slippin' In and Loosen Out albums. That would be fucking awesome if they did, um, like, a reunion. But I highly doubt that will ever happen because Greg Inn's a dick. Um, that's one I can think of. Um, a lot of punk fans, honestly. It'd be cool to see if the Dead Canes reunited with Joby Alfred and not whoever the fuck they have now. I like, honestly could care less. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty good question. Um, and as far as, like, Dead members, it'd be interesting to see, like, to go back in time and see fucking Death Live. Because Chuck is a legend, you know? I'm your stereotypical cringy fucking Chuck worshipper, so yeah. But, um, I wish I could have seen... I wish that Chuck didn't die so I could have seen Death Live. Alright, last question. End of the road. What three bands do you think you will always be listening to? Like I just, I was just talking about Death, well, a second ago. Um, so Death, I think I'll never get sick of because I've been listening to them like nonstop, like, like about a year now. Um, Black Flag, I've been listening to since middle school, and I'll always love them. The Misfits, I've always loved, and I don't think I'll ever like grow out of them. Um, but yeah, those are some. Uh, AF5, of course, because they're the band that got me into music, but specifically their early stuff, I don't really care much for anything else that they've done. Um, but, yeah, those are some bands that I think I'll never get sick of or else never stop listening to. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and then, 
yeah, that's the last question. So, uh, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll leave links to the um, other to Black Marble Rebellion's video and um, Blake Barmite Jackson's video in the description. So, yeah. Um, see you guys next time.